Now welcome back to part 5 of Conquest Extreme, the step-by-step -step guide series. If you're new to this channel and up new on today's content, make sure you hit that red subscribe button and join the kingdom. Also, since we're on part 5, let's times that by 10 and aim for 50 likes on this video. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at BladeMist, same way it's spelled. On the YouTube channel, username, and click on the channel community tab, interact with me there. Click on the channel, playlist, conquest, and you can watch the series from episode number 1. And as always, this is for Gramps. So turn five, we need to capture the Oakland Athletics, we need to capture the Brewers, the Atlanta Braves, and if we were near Boston, we would have to capture them as well. But as you guys know, it is literally impossible to get all sides at once. So instead, what we did in the previous turn was we evenly divided the territories where it would lead us to capturing three out of the four strongholds that we were closest to and that's exactly what we're going to do here we're going to go ahead right after the oakland athletics the reason i tell you guys to actually go ahead and play these games out instead of simulating it is because one once you simulate it obviously you do have a chance of losing without actually losing and then number two I feel like whenever you do go ahead and simulate, it allows the CPU to make moves a lot faster than if you actually played for each and every single individual territory. So it would allow the CPU to, let's say, move this 2 million fans into this open territory faster than if you would have actually just played out every single territory. But enough of the chit chat, let's get into this. What we're going to be doing to start things off is we're going to go after this territory and this territory, obviously play it out, and then hopefully just take the athletics on all-star difficulty since we will have more fans than them as long as this 2 million fan doesn't attack us. And then we're going to do the same for the Brewers, we're going to do the same for the Atlanta Braves, and then after that we should be done. And we should be going right after either the Dodgers, Padres, Mets, or Cardinals. We're going to move fans. We're going to reinforce. We're going to do the same thing we've been doing this entire time. And we're just going to go straight after them, destroy them. And then after that, I'll explain to you all what part six is and how easy part six is because you don't have to worry about turns anymore. And you can easily just go ahead and stack up your territories against the strongholds and face them on the easiest difficulties clear the map out and then we'll talk about part seven which is where you are forced to restart the map after you clear it out obviously to complete the rest of the goals so let's go ahead and do that so after taking that territory we're facing the stronghold and i just want to show you all the difficulty that we will be facing the map it's going to be all-star difficulty so as i said the more steel fans you play on legend or hall of fame or even all-star sometimes the better it is in the long run whenever you're facing the strongholds it makes it easier and the games for the strongholds are not as important as the games for the steel fans face because if you lose the steel fans face you don't get a redo but with the stronghold you do but at the same time you want to finish the strongholds as soon as possible so they don't reinforce more territories around them and also because we're limited in terms of turns so Winning the steel fans phase on higher difficulties is crucial to face the strongholds on lower difficulties as well. Once we take the Oakland Athletics stronghold, it's pretty simple what we do right after. We go right after the Brewers, take these two right here so the 2 million doesn't have a chance to attack us. And afterwards, I'm going to give you guys a little tip once we capture the Braves as to what to do with the remaining millions of fans in those territories because unfortunately we won't be able to move them. So now that we went ahead and... Got ourselves close to the Brewers stronghold. Let's see what we're going to be facing them on. All-star difficulty. So, once again, should be an easy stronghold game. After that, we only got to take one territory away from the Atlanta Braves. And then we're facing their stronghold again. And we're most likely going to face it on all-star difficulty. But we might get veteran, which is what I'm saying. It makes the stronghold games a lot easier. You go through the pain and suffering of Steel fans on Legend in order to have relaxing watch the nfl as it's going on mlb basketball whatever it is as you're playing the stronghold game now after we went ahead and got next to the stronghold from the atlanta braves you guys can see we're gonna face them on all-star now i want you guys to stay tuned because after we beat this stronghold what i'm about to do next is very crucial in terms of getting you more territories in terms of getting you more reinforcements for when we do go ahead and reinforce once again now we just went ahead and captured the brave stronghold so now this is the important step i want everyone to pay attention to so we see that we have three million fans at the oakland athletics and then we have three million fans at where the brewers were we're gonna go ahead and actually attack with these three million fans 
in order to get ourselves or at least attempt to get ourselves some extra territories the reason we're doing this is because you can only move one set of fans in the move fans phase so by us going ahead and doing this we at least give ourselves an opportunity at getting a couple of more territories which will then in lead give us more reinforcements to finish this off with now it's going to be pretty simple what we do here you don't even really have to steal fans if you ask me we're going to have 36 million territories divide that by three it's going to give us 12 we're going to have 7 million fans let's see how far away the mets and cardinals are it's pretend there's eight there seven six five four three two and then you'll face them on legend and then with 12 it's going to be something similar it's going to be one two three four five six seven so you'll be able to divide it evenly and honestly face both teams if you want to without even having to steal fans and that's exactly what i'm gonna do actually just to show you guys that it's possible and this is where stealing fans on that difficulty ends up paying off for you so we're gonna go ahead and do the math again one two three four five six seven so i'm gonna give myself around 10 million fans here out of the 12 and then over here i'm gonna give myself the rest basically or not the rest let's let's break it evenly up so we're gonna be given seven making this eight how many do we have left well one side has to have a little bit more than the other that is gonna be how it's done basically so seven we give this side we're gonna give this side one more so we'll give this 11 we'll give this side right here the rest the three and then we're gonna move these fans over here that's gonna be 10 million fans and now watch this 10 9 8 we're most likely facing them on all-star so then seven six five most likely facing them on all-star and we get them out of the way same thing here nine eight seven most likely facing them on, on all-star six five four and then this is most likely on hall of fame but you're going to be able to knock out the remaining four that you need to knock out before turn six ends and then after this you do not restart but you no longer need to steal fans you no longer have to capture every single territory by playing it out because you've already knocked all the teams that you needed to before turn six or on turn six now what we would do is we would just reinforce at the leading territory and then just capture as many territories as we possibly can and get next to the strongholds with let's say 50 plus or whatever it is you want to get next to the strongholds with and then just capture these strongholds on the top right because we will need to restart the map once we capture them all and then do it all again in terms of the turn one turn two turn three goal and then the turn five goal of capturing the right hand side so i'm gonna start with that on the next episode if you did end up enjoying today's content make sure you guys hit that like button red subscribe button don't forget to follow me on all social medias at blade miss same way it's spelled on the youtube channel username click on the channel community tab interact with me there playlist tab to watch this series from episode number one have a blessed day and night stay positive stay safe stay blessed love you all four grams and i'll catch you all on the next one peace out